Hey guys, Shadefire here with episode 16 of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. Last episode we did a bunch of platforming, did some fighting, and stopped right here before this uh, 2D painting level. The belligerents, without true cause or purpose, abused and murdered their pacific victims, whom they hated for being different. The invaders corrupted the vivid world. The assaulted would not comprehend the muscles brutality. Oh, now we got wasp skills too. Trying to placate their oppressors and recover their past. The cruel interlopers attacked at intervals instead of killing them all at once. The wretched survivors suffered in perpetual fear. Is there a worse fate? Luckily, it doesn't seem that they can adjust their aim. Still no sign of the caterpillar. I can hear him, but uh jeez, oh, I almost jumped into that. I can hear him, but uh after three episodes or four episodes of searching for him, we still haven't found him. So I'm not even gonna say whether we find him or not in this episode, because honestly I have no idea anymore. Chapter might just go on forever. Should have ducked. Thought I could out jump it. But of course, in uh, 2D land, Alice is completely helpless. I gotta say, what this whole 2D section reminds me of a lot of is the uh, similar random 2D section in. Uh, Jeez. I'm trying to remember what the game's called now. It was a Studio 51 joint. Uh, side character named Johnson. Shadows of the Dam, that's what it was. Has another random 2D section in the middle of it, but it's more akin to the uh, ship section we did earlier. Oh, jeez. Spikes down here, so I'm gonna have to float on. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll trade from one to the other. Into the stabbing pan. Drop. Hopefully, there's not more spikes. Just inky ocean. That looks like a secret. Kind of disappointing that these teeth uh, are only worth one, because they kind of all look like golden ones. But that might just be because they have a little shiny effect on them. Yet the completionist in me won't let me leave them behind. Alright, not exactly sure looking at this what parts of this is a platform. I guess just the roof. I wonder if I can jump on their heads. Oh, that's a straight shooter. So I'm gonna have to... Oh! Didn't actually see the destination of that guy's shots. Oh, I shrunk under that. The hitboxes are a little weird in this 2D place. I guess I just have to jump again.
Another 2D platform down. Platformer. I gotta say, those aren't really that much fun. The whole being helpless thing kind of goes against what you do for the rest of the game. You just stab the shit out of everything you see. Or at least give it some seasoning. Yep. This looks like another arena. What do we got? Big old insidious roof. I forgot. I have to break his guard first. Fighting two of these guys at once might be troublesome. Mainly because I have to try to dodge that guy's ranged attacks while I hit this guy. Maybe a little too aggressive on that one for two of them. Alright, let's try softening them up from a distance this time. Can I make him spawn before I jump down there? So I don't have to fight him from his terms? Of course not. Gotta trigger the arena first. His guard down. See, they shouldn't be able to dash through each other. Stops nipping at my heels. to fight one of those guys. And that was certainly not the best way to go about it. What? How did that even get there? And then it vanished. Okay. Secrets? Secrets? No secrets? No secrets here, just teeth. Nishi-nashi teethy secrets. Oh good! <laughs> Another block puzzle. Once more, the shadow dragon winds along the path. Follow the dragon alleys. Ah, I see how it goes. Makes perfect sense, really. At least, now it does. By which he means, go collect the blocks, Alice! So we're not gonna provide you with them. It's gonna drop me into another fight. <laughs> These guys are helping me up. I guess 
because I have to fight them. I'll take that. Treasure lady is here. And that means treasure. Toss one of those. What? What did that even do? I thought it made the thing up here. But I may have been wrong. Let's try it again. No, oh, it just raises that one. See, I see. Hello? Hello? Any blocks here? Gotta find all the blocks. over here. Golden bottle. Gotta say, I am looking forward to be being done with this area. This eastern area. But I think the next one was probably the Queen of Hearts. And if that's so, that means, oh great, more maze puzzles. More uh, hedge mazes and underwater hedge mazes and all sorts of nasty stuff. Oh god, now they're ant people. I didn't even notice that. Where do I go from here? Just break this. No. So I am missing something. Oh, switch down there. You can see that. Hop straight past it, I did. Now that cutscene screwed me over, so I'm gonna restart it. And that is all the boxes. Oh, we're just gonna disappear. Alright, what kind of dragon are you? This would go... The left side looks like it's right, but... Where would this go? This would attach to the tail, and that would go... So put the tail he no, that's not right. Go 
because you can't rotate these, which means they're already in the right positions. And this attaches to the neck. So if I put it here, it'll go down. No, it's not right. Okay, well, this is the top right corner, so let's do that first. Oh, I got it. The gate is opened. Now it appears that I can continue my ascent to the peak. Excellent analysis, Alice. Weird how she doesn't comment on that the first time we have to do it. Oh, enough with the floating platforms. Wants me to look at something, I bet it's just the same same thing. Oh, you can't jump on those ones. Oh jeez. I'm dead. Well, I'm disappeared. Gotta wait for that to come back. Oh, Archer. Get out of here. Corpses. Wait, is that the right way to go? Does that mean this snout? Oh no, I gotta go up. Alright, so this is actually a secret. I use the term secret very loosely here. What have you got for oh, memory? Lovers often exchange a lock of hair to symbolize their vows. The human heart is opened by a vast assortment of keys. I'm not even going to be able to get there from out here. Okay, let's go back around. be very sad if they make me do another flying platforming section immediately after this. Nope. It's combat. Combat I can deal with. Sometimes. fairly easy. And I bet there's gonna be a Dymo up here. You there, come close. I can recite Red Riding Hood backward. I know my multiplication tables, two elevens. I, I have intelligence. Hmm. Really? Persuade me. To remove the obstruction, wake the frog and empty his belly. Wake that? What about its tongue? And the prospect of warts. Ooh. Anyway, how do you know? I imagined how it was done while I was sleeping. But of course, first you have to fight this Colossus. Ah, oh, there's bolt fly shit up there too. Get rid of that first. We're not bolt fly uh, ink wasps. They are annoying. Get that one. 
Oh, this is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to kill these wasps first. How do I avoid that crap? I guess I can just stand up here. definitely a harder fight because it's a more contained area. Not a lot of room to avoid that thing where it just eats you. But first I'm going to try to take this guy out. What? What am I stuck on? <laughs> That takes off a good three roses by itself. Oh, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. I still need to take out that spawner up here. Okay, apparently you can't block those at all. really poorly again. Perhaps if I rang that gong, he'll wake up. Ah yes, the wisdom of the gong frog. I bet he's gonna eat me.
how do I hit that? Do I just... Oh. Presuming that this thing will pull that and wake him up, but how do I get up there? So I can't just jump up here and hit it. Can I just shoot it from here? Nope, it just clips right through it. Alrighty then, what am I missing? be a hidden thing back here. Yes, there's a keyhole. Blue bottle. All power to the gong frog. I guess that works too. The gong frog has spoken. Caterpillar, are you in here somewhere? Savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. More floating platforms. Well, to their credit, at least they didn't put them directly after the other ones. More wasps are going to spawn when I land. A lot more wasps.
Oh, I did not have time to hit enter before I got arrowed. Come on, I spawned with an arrow coming at me. That was a cheap shot game. Stereo mode comes in handy. What sort of gooey secrets do you have for me today? Regrettably, the creature has to die for its image to be properly captured. The subjects of art often suffer. Episode 16 of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns, and uh, we leave off where we began. Standing in front of another. Alice, why, why is your pepper grinder just sticking out of your stomach? That looks like something uh, rather unpleasant. Anyhow, we leave off where we began, standing in front of one of these paintings. I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you in episode 17, where we absolutely do not find the caterpillar, clearly. Cheerio!